The accusation against the poor man is infidelity. He, you know, he screws around with other women. That's, that's one of the big accusations. But the question is, to what is he faithful? That, that, where, is the, where is your fidelity in your infidelities? And in the marriage thing, if, if, that's, if that's the uh, god or goddess ruling the, this relationship, then the only fidelity that counts is the marriage fidelity. I, I'm going to interrupt you just, guys just for a minute. I wanna, I'm not going to drop this one. Uh, when um, Aeneas comes back from the Trojan War, he stops in Carthage and he meets with the queen of Carthage, Dido. You probably all know the story, or some of you do. And Dido seduces him by putting, taking her little boy, his little boy, on her lap. That's an, just think of that little image. His little boy is taken on her lap. That little boy is Aeneas, you know, the little boy in Aeneas. And she coddles, cuddles that. And then eventually they, they have an assignation. Now Aeneas is on his way back going to Rome. He's got a mission from Zeus or Jupiter to found Rome and so a big hero and so and Dido and he have an assignation in a cave where they, their love is culminated or accomplished, uh, as the old texts used to say. Uh, she goes into that cave with, the, with and her, her uh, guiding god is, is Juno, Hera, god of marriage. He goes into that cage as the son of Aphrodite. So what fantasy do you go to the motel room with? <laughs> Who's the god behind the fat in the fantasy? When she felt absolutely betrayed, he was unfaithful. He left then afterwards and went off to found Rome. He had other things to do. He had business meetings. And... and she never got over the betrayal and still, after death, was still bitter in the underworld. But he had another mission. This was an Aphroditic moment. So it's making these distinctions like between mother and nurse or between what kind of fidelity we're talking about is very important. We, say, we use the term infidelity about marriage. Um, but fidelity has to do with faithfulness. And there, can, there are many forms of faithfulness. Marriage being one of them. The marriage oath is to contain faithfulness within a particular uh, perspective of Juno Hera, goddess of marriage. Okay, got, is that one unraveled?